But best intentions for this year, new car for me, more power for Adam, totally new engine for Ben. In a perfect world we wanted loads and loads of seat time and everything before round one. It didn't happen. Um, zero sleep for four days nearly on the build up there and I turned up literally with five minutes, well five minutes into briefing. The build up to round one was manic. So many late nights then going to work day after. I mean, car was just a nightmare really. Nothing went right, but we got there in the end. I got to BDC early. I got there the day before and set up pits and everything. And then uh, Mike got there five minutes into the briefing, but luckily they let him on track after the brief. But Ben sadly didn't make it. His, he was car on the dyno the night before at about 10, 12 o'clock and uh, he had problems with coil packs, which were an absolute nightmare. So we were planning on getting his car mapped and driving straight down from Scotland to get there in time for briefing. And then finally got the car out on track. We were happy with it, a couple of little problems, but nothing major. Um, and just had some fun finally. Yeah, practice, car work, outstanding. Just starting to get a bit more confident with the car, thought I'd do a bit of twinning, followed Adam in and then the crash happened. Yeah, practice was going well. I uh, come in to change my tyres and had a few, few pro drivers come over saying, tell me how we're on it and we're doing best of best out there, so kind of went to my head. And I uh, went back out and some new tyres and overcooked it, took it on. After it crashed, I, I just walked off and had to have five minutes in my van because I couldn't believe what I'd just done after all the hard work and stuff. So I got out of my van, went back round to the pits, my car ran axle stands. We got all lasso lads, all slide boys, load of other people, all out hunting for parts round pits and stripping my car down. I, I couldn't believe it to be honest. Yeah, they were, everybody were working on the car while qualifying were on. And I don't know how they did it, but they managed to get my car back out literally two minutes before qualifying were done. So I managed to get one running. I drove it round, drove it round to the start line. And uh, it is the initiated for the first corner when the tyres popped off at b on back. So nearly took me into the wall again. I drove off round off the track and uh, all our pit crew were there ready to change me a tyre, put me a new tyre on but sadly I was too late and too late for my second qualifying run. So then qualifying happened, um, we ended up going last because of obviously fixing Adam's car. I got my first run in which was really atrocious and nothing to blame except myself. For my second lap, I knew I had to pull something good out of the bag. Um, went in for an empty and just lost it off throttle. There was no, no response from throttle whatsoever, so that was game over for me. Yeah, my car, it's uh, in a bad way. Front chassis legs are bent, the rear's all pushed over to the passenger side. Uh, we've had it stripped down, pretty much straightened it out best we can. Fitted all new back end parts, all the subframe, arms, everything. Uh, engines out, stop here. 
that's going to go back in because I've had it all straightened up now. Uh, got not got long to get it done really because we're at Japfest in a couple of weeks and then the BDC round two. But hopefully it'll all be done. We've got a few weeks till uh, till the next round, till round two. Um, we're going to be fully prepared for that one. We were missing, we were that late. I mean, we were missing some sponsors' graphics, which is not good. Um, like I said, round two, we are on it. We're back to how we should be, and we're there to have some fun and hopefully uh, get some points.